So I was at the health food store the other day, and I asked the lady, do you have poison ivy soup in a can? She said, absolutely not. We make ours from scratch. <laughs> okay, what does that have to do with what we're talking about tonight? Who in their right mind would eat poison ivy soup, let alone eat poison ivy in any form? People that eat mindlessly. That's the kind of people that would do that, like me. Good segue. Yes. We are gonna, I'm Susan. And I'm Chuck. That's Chuck. And together Susan. we're Chuck and Susan, Susan and Chuck. <laughs> Told you this time, didn't I? Hi. We're going to hey talk there. about health. Gonna, this is Hump Day Health Day. Yeah, we are health gonna, Day, Hump Day. Uh, yes. We're yes. going to talk about mindful eating versus mindless eating. The whole concept of mindfulness, you hear that a lot. Um, just the principle of being present, being aware of what you're doing. So, how often have you sat with a bag of chips and down the whole bag while you're mindlessly eating, mindlessly watching something on TV or having a conversation? I'm, 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 I'm going to talk to my lawyer first. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to answer that. We were at a friend's house a few weeks ago and a bowl of chips, I mean it was, it was a She did. I didn't good, have one single chip. He didn't. He was a good boy. It was a good sized bowl of chips. And we have been Wait, really good sized chips or good sized bowl. Good sized bowl. It bowl was a lot of chips in that bowl. Oh. And we have been really watching our eating habits. No junk in the house. No chips. Nothing like that. So I'm sitting by this bowl of chips. I practically ate the whole bowl. I just could not stop. <laughs> and that's after she dropped them on the floor. You know, they say <laughs> when the chips are down. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm talking to my friend and I'm eating the chips and I'm talking and I'm eating. And before I realize it, I'm saying to myself, Oh, you chip. Know, please, somebody. <laughs> Take that bowl away. When your chip comes in. <laughs> that is mindless eating. That's mindless eating, yes. Or you just, we have a tendency to just kind of wolf down our food. That's the way I was, I don't know what it is, but the way I was brought up, food will be set on the table. Boo! And Scared you, didn't I? <laughs> tried to carry the chip within, out of you. <laughs> within 15 work. minutes, that food would be gone. I mean, there was just no... They And they make those foods, you know, they say the old lace ch potato chip, you can't eat just one. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's true. Yeah. Well, you can, you I can, mean, but they, they don't them, do it that way. They're, they're, they're addictive. addictive. Yep. Yeah, All those foods. That's food. part of it too. There's a reason to call it junk food. Uh huh. But even some things that that label themselves as health food, like granola bars. Oh, that's healthy, so I can have two granola bars. Yeah, it says natural. That's right. So yeah, that's blah, blah, mindless. Blah, 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 blah. So some <clears> of the <throat> tips. I just was reading an article about this. Just some of them are just common sense. How often have you heard, you know, the express eat your eat your food slowly, chew each bite. 20 times before you swallow. Those are some of the things that I've heard. But that is really important because the sensation of being full only happens between 20 and 30 minutes after you started eating. When wow. your brain tells you you've had enough to eat. So that's why sometimes you wake, walk away from the table and you go, oh God, I ate too much. Or if you're if you're feeling it at the table, guess what? It's oh, way too. It's yeah. too late. It's too late. It's too late. So if you eat slowly, and chew your food slowly, and just enjoy the food, and then it'll take you longer to eat. One trick is to have a glass of water if you if you're trying to lose weight. To have a glass of water um, before you eat to begin that process of of you know, being full, feeling like you're full. Yes. So, the trick is, trick. Eat, yeah, trick. eat slowly, Any treats? appreciate your food. Hi food, thank you so much for being food. <laughs> and think about why you're eating. When I get this emotional eating, I'm hungry. And, well, not all the time, there's emotional eating, and then there is eating because of your environment, you know, like you, Oh, you smell, you walk past a restaurant or whatever, and it smells so good, so you wind up eating it. And emotionally... Wait, you eat the restaurant? <laughs> oh, eat the food from the restaurant. I am an emotional eater. About a month ago, I had a few really bad days. So, I came home, and I made myself pancakes, pan pancake syrup, bacon. It was horrible. 
terrible. She forced me to eat some of it too. You wouldn't eat it. You wouldn't. I didn't eat any. Oh, I was good that night. Okay, good. Yeah. So, we gotta be mindful of are we eating because we're depressed or we're sad or we're happy or whatever. That don't let the emotion eat because you're hungry. Eat because your body is telling you to I'm eat. hungry. Yeah. It's time to eat. And it's but then good. eat something good. Then you eat but you knew that. Good. You but don't eat emotionally. Yep. And when it comes to simple things like you go grocery shopping, don't stockpile. Grocery shop for a week so there's not all this food lying around. And yeah. then make healthy choices. With what's in your fridge and in your pantry is going to wind up in your belly, right? I mean, yeah. that's what you bought there for. So yeah. make healthy choices. Boy, no wonder that mop tasted funny. <laughs> Gotta stop keeping the mop in the pantry. Just, yeah, we wouldn't want to stock on it. Like, we wouldn't want to have like 10 bags of almonds or something like that. <laughs> Which is what I do. 16 barrels of oh oatmeal. Uh, sorry about that. If there's an almond shortage in the country, <laughs> you just come to our house, they give you our house. There's it's plenty like, here. Oh, oh, we didn't get almonds, you know. I don't yep. think we no, have I think enough we need almonds, almonds at home, so yeah. we we'll go buy another two bags of almonds yep. to add to our collection. Don't worry. Yeah, if there's an apocalypse, <laughs> there, we will not the, run out of almonds. We've got the almonds. Other yep. thing is, smaller plates. Instead, if you eat with a big... We <clears> tend to... Um, judge the amount of food we're eating by you know we're hungry so we fill up a plate well if we and and it's a smaller plate then we still get that sensation of we have enough to eat if you have a big plate and you put smaller portions on it's like oh, so, that's so what is a good food. rule of rule of thumb for portion size size of your fist well the size of your fist yeah that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a general rule and general rule and the don't don't go get like Muhammad Ali's boxing glove or something <laughs> like that. Doesn't count. And that should Side be of your fist outside your of a boxing fruits glove. and your vegetables, which is another another trick is to eat a lot of increase the um, the amount of vegetables that you're eating. The salad because it looks like a bigger amount and it fills you up quicker and it's fiber, so it will make you feel fuller and it's good for you. Yeah, Very good that's what they say. Smaller plates. Smaller packages, like if you're gonna have chips, put it in a small, in a small. Don't don't open up a bag of chips and sit there and munch on it because it'll. You know, you finish off a whole bag. Trust me. Or if you have candy, you know, bowl of candy, or whatever. Just. A better rule: don't buy candy. Don't buy candy. Just don't buy yeah, it. Yeah, but if you're gonna have it. If you're gonna have it. <laughs> well. Smaller containers. Small containers. And. And. Put it out of sight. Put it out of sight. Or oh, where it's not so convenient to get to, you know. It's, that never works for me. Because he'll find it. <laughs> no matter what. I'm like a bloodhound. <clears throat> nose, nose. Yeah. <laughs> he so will find it. But even a simple thing like putting that those snacks in a drawer or in a cupboard somewhere where you got to actually physically get up. Yep. And go look for it. It's you have to work for your food. Sitting there next to you. Yes. So how, how about just not having snack? How about just having a making baggies of healthy snacks? This is. How's that? Smart man. But don't make them. Don't hide those. Smart man. Put those obviously. Yep. Or how about this for a rule? Before you go eat one thing of junk, eat like three or four portions of something else. Mm -hmm. So if you see those chips, well, don't buy the stuff in the first place. But if you absolutely have, or someone at the holidays and somebody brings stuff yep. over or whatever and leaves it at your house, mm -hmm. well, hey. Or, worst case, if you have cake and it's on the counter, just leave it there long enough and I'll send our dog over <laughs> and our dog will definitely <laughs> take care of that. You don't have to worry about it like he did the other day. <laughs> you know that from experience, yes. Of course, then you have a sugar high dog running around your house, which can be amusing, but you don't want that. So, anyway, I hope those tips help <clears throat> mindful eating versus mindless eating. If you are just eating to eat, you know the old expression, are you living to eat or eating to live? Yes. No. Eat to live. Enjoy your food. Make healthy choices. And you'll find that, I know that for us, our, our um, taste buds, our palates have actually changed. I never really liked eating salad. Oh. I wasn't 
really brought up eating salad. Never really liked it. I love having a salad now. Gradually, Me too. I will, you know, and I might have a small piece of cake. I don't have to eat the chagunda sized piece of cake that I used to eat. I still have problems with chips, though. True confessions, I do have problems with chips. I keep them out of the house. <clears throat> so we don't have them in the house. We don't have chips in the house. Problem they will solved. Solve. Yep. Except Problem for when solved. I go to Mickey's house and he puts a bowl of chips on the table. <laughs> what I can I say? That's when self-control, that's when the mindfulness comes in. Yep. And you look at the bowl of chips and you say, <laughs> do you really want to put that in your body? The answer is yes, that. but should you put that in your body? Should That's the answer. No. When you think about think about the repercussions. Sometimes reading the, the, the label mm. on the bag and yeah, like the fat and all the ingredients, and the artificial flavors and, artificial and chemicals this, and the, the fake this and fake that. that. Sometimes that's enough to make you mindful enough of what you're eating that you don't want to eat it anymore. So if you've got all kinds of junk food and things like that at your house, don't chip give, them to us. Yeah, give me a call. I'll come over and help you get rid of them. I mean, I'll help you throw them out or something. Never mind. We'll just, I'll figure out a plan. Hope those tips were helpful. Let us know. Give us, you know, if you have something in addition to that to add yeah, to love the feedback. how you um, no pun intended. are trying to make yourself more mindful of what you're eating, Please let us know. We'd love for you to share. Share with everyone else that, we, that sees this video on, on uh, this live replay. Let us know what you think. Pass it along and share it. Yes, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching on your replay. Yeah, you know, chat with us. We can't say certain words like L I K E or S H R A R E or C O M M E N T. So I hope Facebook didn't pick up on any I of those hope words. You can spell. And, uh, you can spell. <laughs> but I know the camera kind of reversed this thing in live, so those words probably came out backwards. So, But you'll figure that out. I'm just kidding. That's only if I ever wrote them. You, what you did we can... do the Mickey Mouse thing? C O M M E N T S H A R E. We are not going to win any awards for this program. <laughs> so, anyway. But we enjoyed touching base with you. Yes, we did. So. Okay. It's time to sign off. So, mm -hmm. no matter, you know what we say all the time, no matter what's going on around you and what's happening inside the old... Well, noggin. Noggin. The brain, where, you, where your mind is, somewhere up mm -hmm. in there. Just remember, at the end of the day... You turn out the lights and you go to bed. Amen. See All right. you next week. See you next time. Have a great one. God bless. Bye. Have a mindful